Welcome back, another edition of The Charlie Show. It's been a while since I sat and talked with you about anything exciting, just videos and stuff like that, which is always fun. So this week, a little bit different. I'm gonna show you an update on my drag rig. We've been gotten into some no prep drag racing around here. It's been super fun. And I've gotten a lot of testing and running and hits and rips and lines in on that thing, and it's gotten pretty darn good now. So we'll go through some of the cool things that I've changed on the truck, and we'll talk about the settings that I'm using in the speed control. And I took the camera out to our test spot and did some uh, shots of the rigs running down the track, some sideline stuff, I made some sweet slow-mo clips. It's pretty rad. Show you all that here at the end. Um, but first up, take a look at my no prep drag rig. So. There it is, my no prep drag racer. Now, this started out life as a slash. It was a Proline Pro 2. So I figured it was only fitting to get a truck body. That's why I run a truck body. And Everett made me these sweet Tomiers. They're awesome and are excellent for seeing all the people behind you as you drag them down the track. So real quick, let's talk about the setup you know, of the vehicle itself. These are, the rear shocks are on the front. I put a whole bunch of limiters inside of them to get the front end to arms to sit level. And same in the rear. These are the rear, the front shocks installed on the rear. Um, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there's one limiter inside here just to make them a little bit shorter than what they were so I can sit at arms level so there's no up travel, no down travel when it sits on the springs. And these are the Traxxas red or pink springs on the on the rear of the, the rig and these are the actual proline rear springs they're stiffest ones the red ones up here uh, this rig is as you can see a proline pro 2 i did make a couple basic changes it's got rpm slash rear arms to narrow up the rear end a little bit i ended up grenading the original transmission so this is actually the rpm transmission and I run the zero degree blocks installed down here that it comes with, with the slash arm. So you get a little bit of toe in the rear. Obviously this big thing hanging off the back, we had a wheelie bar. This is the normal Traxxas wheelie bar installed on the RPM transmission. And then I took out the lockout, made a standoff that connects the two shocks, screwed them on the edge here, zip tied that on there so that I got this spring loaded uh, wheelie bar basically and the idea was I got it from Kevin I'm the fast guy on our list is that when the, the, the rig slaps up on there it gets it's got a little bit of give so it doesn't upset it so bad mm. set up for the power plant well let's talk about the gearing it's a 58 spur gear and a 10 tooth pinion and these are the 32 pitch gears the Traxxas sells for the monster trucks and stuff I like the big gears only because they're a little more durable stuff gets in there we race in a lot of dirty parking lots it's a lot easier to save the gear you can knock the, the crud out of it so to speak the power plant in it is actually a five turn this is the same motor that i ran at the reader race same speed control too an xr10 pro 160 i just had to make the wires longer and i did uh, replace the power caps with the quad cap bank um, anytime you're doing a lot of high current stuff or repeated full throttle or lots of launches the caps always help basically capacitors always help so i always try to put the bigger caps on all my builds. I run a receiver capacitor as well, just in case. A lot of slapping on the throttle over the whole course of the run. You can get brown outs to your receiver, lots of hard crashes, shocks through the servo. The receiver capacitors always help protect everything um, from that. The speed control settings are real easy. I'm gonna put those down in the description, but essentially it's default setting. I run the turbo timing at a 50 degrees and I have it set to instant with a 30 degree per 10th ramp up and a instant decrease. So when I let off, it takes the timing out right away. And then the other mechanical changes, I do the motor turned way down at like 20 degrees of timing. So this rig, it's not as fast as some of the guys um, past 132 feet or what our scale quarter mile is. We do a lot of speed run stuff for fun and you can hear my cars topped out before everybody else. But through 132 feet, this guy is a weapon. Um, got it right now where it hooks up pretty good. I got a couple things on here that I'm gonna go try this evening to maybe pull them off afterwards as far as this rear end suspension goes. Um, but we'll find out more about that later. And I have found that the Proline Primes have been pretty good as compared to, I was running uh, Speed Hogs or Street Hogs, something like that before. And these end up being a little bit better. You just have to do a little burnout, warm them up, um, or you know, pavement has to be a little bit warm. When it's cool out, I do tend to run a treaded tire. If it's super, super dusty, the treaded tire seems to be a little bit better. Uh, but the primes lately have been my go-to tire, so stoked on those. Uh, but that's it. That's my no prep drag racer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm here with Kevin. We're gonna do some drag racing in this parking lot. 
with our no prep drag racers. There's his. It's, it's pretty slow. There's mine. It's much faster. We're gonna see though. Most of the time, Kevin beats me, so I talk a lot of trash. And here comes Gabe. He's our uh, drag master general of all things RC. He's responsible for no prep happening in our area, so it's all his fault. This stupid jerk. I'm gonna do a little burnout just in case. me super rad it's a uh, Gabe's Chevy versus Madouge Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. 